What is going on everybody? This is Kincaid and today I am going to be doing the idle screw mod on my 2020 KTM 250XC TPI and I will explain why in a minute. I do already have the idle screw from Slavens Racing, but first I need to go pour myself a drink at the bar I just finished building. All right, decided to go for a nice old fashioned. And here is the bar. This has been a super fun project. It was inspired by my friend Reed who has one in his house. And as promised, there is the KX250. Sitting pretty in the living room. So this has been my main bike since last year when I sold my 350 XCF and bought this. I bought it from a friend with 26 hours on it and now it has 56.4. So it has not yet needed a top end or anything like that. It has ran beautifully the entire time I've owned it. This winter, I did some maintenance on it, just changed the oil, changed the air filter, greased some linkage, installed radiator braces, a new skid plate, lots of basic stuff that would not affect the way the bike ran. Pretty much every month throughout the winter, I would fire the bike up, let it run, always fired right up, idled just fine. So then I go out to ride it for the first time this season. Didn't even bother starting it because I'd started it about a week prior and let it run and idle fine. And all of a sudden, wouldn't idle. So it will idle really low. I'll show you guys what's happening. So if I start it without the high idle on, idle super low and eventually dies. Yes, I know the bike is cold, but that is the symptom even when it's hot. So when I went out riding last weekend, all I did was leave the high idle on and it ran fine all day, ran a little bit rich, but it ran fine, made good power, had a great day, no big deal, just left the high idle on. But overall, this is a problem I wanna fix. So if you're not familiar with this whole idle air screw deal on these TPI bikes, there are a million videos on them, I've watched them, but the whole, the whole idea behind it is KTM tells you just to adjust this, when really this is just an air screw. So if I screw this out far enough to where the bike idles, which is about six turns I found, then it runs horrible. It makes absolutely awful power, it's way too lean, so I just can't run it like that. So I checked the inline fuel filter, replaced it, didn't do anything. I just went over to my buddy Levi's house who has recently replaced his in-tank fuel filter on his bike. I put his tank on my bike to see if maybe it was just my fuel filter is dirty did nothing. And I've done some Googling on this because my big concern is if it was running perfect before and now it's not, what changed? There's some factor that made it change. But with that said, I'm not gonna tear the motor apart when there is a suggested solution being this right here that lots of guys do very happily. So I'm not really gonna question it much more. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the mod and move on with my life and keep riding my dirt bike. Also rocking my two stokes shirt from Prime MX. This thing is super soft and I really like it. I have an affiliate link on screen and in the description if you guys are interested in any Prime apparel or cleaning wheels like this. So we have finally removed the throttle body from the bike. It took a little bit longer than expected. What actually ended up being the most tedious part was getting the throttle body off of the air boot. I've never struggled so much to get a carb or throttle body off of an air boot before. I could not for the life of me with the boot in the air box, get enough leverage to pull this thing off. In fact, I had my body weight on the boot with it not in the air box to finally get it off the throttle body. I don't know why this one was so tight, but finally managed to get it off. If you guys are struggling with this, this was super easy because this on these newer KTM slips right out of the airbox, no problem. So if you're struggling, that might be a better way to do it. Um, this connector, you have to pop this tab up and then it pulls off. That one was a little different than most connectors you see. And then after that, it was a matter of just 
quickly pulling the oil line and then pulling the throttle cables out. Here is the idle screw that is Loctited in from the factory. So this is the part where we torch the throttle body to break the to break down the Loctite and then we'll remove this and replace it with the easy idle screw. All right, so step one, this thing's a little nasty. I'm gonna spray it out a little bit with a little bit of carb cleaner. Realistically, I should have contact cleaner, but you know. Overall, there's nothing I've seen that gives me any reason to suspect why the idle went bad. So again, I'm just gonna assume it's one of those TPI things and it's just something you gotta do. Before I even bother starting to remove it, I'm gonna get some calipers and measure this gap here. And this is so that I know my baseline when setting the new idle screw. Looks like we're about 4.13 millimeters. So that'll be our, our starting point for idle. So now I'm gonna torch right here on the throttle body in order to not damage this plastic, but to transfer the heat through here to that Loctite. I've also seen some good suggestions to use a soldering iron directly on the bolt. Um, unfortunately, the tip of my soldering iron got lost in my move, so we're gonna go with the torch method. Right there. This map gas is super hot, so I just wanna check, make sure I'm not accidentally hitting the plastic at all. This is something you wanna, you know, one of those measure twice, cut once scenarios. All right, you can see that's getting pretty hot. Let's see if that's anywhere close to enough. I'm not gonna try very hard yet, just because it's really important not to screw this up. Doesn't seem to want to go yet. It felt like it wanted to start, but again, just with everything I've heard about this, this really is the most important part with this mod is making sure that that Loctite's broken because it's obviously a small wrench and a small bolt with heavy duty Loctite. So you gotta make sure the Loctite's not in effect anymore. All right, let's give it another shot. And there it goes. Now it's spinning right out, nice and easy. It's real tight again, because there's Loctite on the end of those threads. So I'm gonna torch it one more time. Realistically, I think I'd feel more comfortable with this job using a propane torch instead of a map gas torch because it burns a little less hot. I'd be a little less concerned about mousing the plastic and such. I feel like I have to be really careful with this one. But overall, looks like we are Almost out, no damaged threads, no stripped bolts. Well on our way to doing this mod and hopefully having idle back on the KTM. There is the stock idle screw. So on mine, it was a two and a half mil Allen. For reference, this is a 2020 250 XC. Yeah, boil some carb cleaner, that's nice. Sure, that's good for the lungs. It is very simple. All it does is make an extension of the stock idle screw with a spring on it that sticks out of the throttle body so you can adjust it by hand as you should be able to from the factory. So we're gonna take this, start threading it in. I think I'll go in and out a few times and continually clean these threads because I'm sure there's some leftover Loctite. It started to get a little tight in there and I don't wanna have any chance of damaging these threads. Maybe the way to do this is to make 100% sure that it's not thread tension and is in fact just spring tension would be to install this screw once without the spring at all. And I definitely do still get some solid tension here. So that's leftover Loctite in the threads. So just gonna keep threading that in and out to chase that Loctite out. You can see it coming out on the tip of this idle screw. Just clean it up and that'll help get this leftover Loctite out. And now I feel good about that. That threaded in 
nice and smoothly. And that spring tension should now be plenty for this to get the job done. We'll toss the spring back on. Thread this guy back into the throttle body. What were we shooting for? 4.13 is what it was at before, which realistically means we want a little bit more than that, considering it would not idle. Right now I'm at 4.5. So maybe we will just start there and see how it goes. I need to dremel out a slit in this cover for it to fit around the idle screw. And we're going to eyeball this with precision. There we go. I think that should be sufficient. Click, clack. Boom, good to go. Idle screw turns. Very nice. Let's get this throttle body reinstalled and see if she idles. I think that air boot was definitely the longest part. Reassembly went super quick. Let's see where we're sitting. All right, did a little adjusting of the idle screw. And she is idling without high idle on. So I did end up having to turn it in quite a bit farther than I had it when I first installed it, but now it is working great. I will probably have to adjust the air screw a little bit once I start riding, if it's feeling a little bit rich or lean anywhere. But overall, this will actually be a really nice adjustment to have. Like a lot of guys mentioned in the real technical hard enduro type stuff, having a little bit higher idle can be really, really helpful. So I obviously haven't ridden the bike yet, but now it's idling and it wasn't before. So obviously that was the entire purpose of this mod, but so far it's looking like it's doing the trick. I will take it out this weekend and see what I think, do a little tinkering with that air screw and the idle screw to get it dialed in just perfect. But she's idling again, so we'll call it a, call it a success. Fire up one more time. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right guys, it's now Sunday evening. I had a chance to take the bike out yesterday morning for an awesome ride out at Pipestone. The dirt was just perfect. Rode some of my favorite single track with a couple friends and the bike ran perfectly. I adjusted the idle and air screw just a little bit more, just continually tinkered with it while I was riding until I got the power. Nice and crispy, perfect delivery, perfect idle. Very, very happy that the mod worked and very happy with how the bike is running. So overall, so far from first impression and after riding the bike once after doing the mod, if you're having idle issues with your TPI bike, I would recommend doing this idle mod. Very happy with how my bike is performing and how it rode yesterday and obviously glad it's idling. So with that being said, that is the idle screw mod for a TPI KTM. Again, this is a 2020 250 XC. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys soon. I am just about to tear down the YZ125.